Hello, Magic players. It's Corn Time 60, that corny guy, back again. Gonna draft some more Lost Caverns of Ixalan. It's been a minute, not that long. I did one Kaladesh draft, and that was fun. I'll probably do more Kaladesh drafts if it's still around and I have time. Oh well, now we're just waiting. Please like, subscribe, comment. It doesn't even have to be a meaningful comment. Well, it's better if it is. I keep meaning to change my avatar from Aleshnorn to like anything else, but here we are. I guess the draft queue is not great because uh, it's the qualifier plan, but it's an explorer qualifier plan. I'll do the qualifier plan when it's um, when it's a limited format. And when I know I can get a weekend off work. Friday's the real issue. I know, real life stuff. Shouldn't be talking about real life stuff on the Magic the Gathering channel. Why do people wait? I am Boromir. That's fun. That's a fun name. All right, well, Tidebinder's great. Counter up to one target activated or triggered ability. Mana abilities can't be targeted, but that's fine. It's still great. The card's still great. Like, I remember there's a YouTuber I watch. Uh, I'm blanking on his name right now, but... Uh, Maybe it was Numot, Numot the Nummy, but uh, he he just passed one of these by and completely disregarded it. He's like, that card's not good. I don't know if he realized it can counter craft, you know? Or like ETBs, right? It's like your opponent goes to craft this, and then you just go, you counter that. All the stuff is still exiled, because the exiling is part of the cost. What is this? So it's bounce something or your opponent discards or you anticipate. But if you have eight cards in your eight, excuse me, eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard when you cast it, you do all three. Yeah, if you do all three, that card's kind of nuts, right? Even as just doing one of them, it's not bad. If it was an instant, it'd be a lot better. I need to activate abilities of lands. Eh, here's a lot of good white cards. Here's a lot of good white cards to make me not want to pick a black card. I think Cloud Guard's the best card here. Snail is okay. Spike Tail is okay. Fungal Fortitude is okay. I don't like Sage of Days, and I'm not a big fan of Promising Vein. I think Old Tech Cloud Guard is the is the right card. I don't think this card is good enough that like I'm gonna focus on that this early. So I'll take the Cloud Guard. Groin Rights. This card's actually pretty sick the top four and get a creature and then on your end step if it flips you just have a ton of mana again there's the soaring sandwing which is good gym guard is good too some good white cards a good white green card ray of ruins okay shipwreck sentry has actually been a lot better than i first thought when i first saw this card i was like ah two mana three three defender that's kind of crappy i'll grab the growing rights since I don't know what I'm doing yet. Alright, we're just rare drafting. Uh, Gargantuan Leech is kind of nice. If you have the caves to support it. Brackish Blunder is pretty great. Brackish Blunder might actually be better than Ever Flowing Well. But I'm going to take this because it's the rare. And I don't want to have to think. Thinking is too complicated. 
So where am I? I don't know if I'm in white, green, or black, but I'm definitely in blue. I don't think the Skull Taker is great. Uh, Didact Echo, I'm actually pretty happy with. I do like the Cogwork Wrestler. And the Nautilus is not bad either. I'll take the Nautilus. Cosmium Blast. It's that or Cartographer's Companion. Take the Cosmium Blast. I think I'm in blue white now. Yeah, I mean, this looks like a pretty good start for a blue-white deck. Two two-drops, two three-drops, a four-drop. Spyglass is not great. This is my opening pack. So another chance went around, which is kind of big. Uh, Didact Echo is fine. Spyglass is awful. Grindfang is not great. Another chance is probably the best card here, but... Yeah, unless I get, like, a really good blue-black card, it's not really worth it. I mean, if I get, like, Aklazots, sure, but other than that... Don't worry, little swimmers. I'm here for the ruins, not you. Calls them little swimmers. That's kind of goofy. Uh, I actually think Fungal Fortitude's the best card in this pack. I'm not crazy about Might of the Ancestors. It's cool. The art is cool and everything. I think I'm going to take the Promising Vein. Sounds like a choice. Oh, uh, yeah, Shipwreck Sentry. Nope, Soaring Sandwing. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to talk about during these, uh, these low periods. Murders at Karlov Manor, huh? How about that? I think the landmark is i mean yeah, it's kind of crazy that the leech went around this card can just win the game on its own what i take okay i took that um let's take the cave ended up with another didact echo anyway throne of the grim captain actually unplayable in my deck We have a merfolk and a dinosaur, but... See, I jokingly said that I always need to pick this card, but, like, nah. Nah. Eaten by Piranhas is definitely better. It says Tinker's Tote. I'll get the Eaten by Piranhas. Guidewing, another Tinker's Tote, though. 
Passing more than one Tinker's to it seems really dumb. Card's good. I don't have a lot of craft or, like, things that give me an advantage from having a lot of artifacts right now, but I easily could later. I'll take the Guide Wing. It's bad. Bat's good. Probably Cogwork Wrestler. Archaeologist actually not a bad card. I'll take the Cogwork Wrestler. It's a good little combat trick. Uh, this deck looks kind of subpar, but like it's a it's an okay blue white deck. It's not like I saw any good dinosaurs, any really good green red deck or anything, or a couple good uh, green cards. I just saw Colossodactyl, for example, but I don't. Mm. If I'm gonna have to force an archetype, it's not going to be uh, something other than like blue white or blue black. I'm just looking at the Tide Binder to remind myself, like, oh yeah, that was my first pick. No, I was absentmindedly looking at it. Let's be honest here. Artifact or Pirate from your top four, and the rest go on bottom. One, two, three, four. Four artifacts, so it has a half decent chance of hitting. It's fine. I mean, I like Whirlpool too, don't get me wrong. It's kind of a three mana exile target creature. But I'll take the crewmate. Leave you, not a chance. You still owe me money. Council of Echoes, Petrify, and Waylaying Pirates. Six mana, four, four flying that bounces something. Hopefully. Or two mana hard removal. Not exactly hard removal. I've been really happy with Waylaying Pirates. Like, every time I've played it, I've been very happy with it. Huh. Get the council. Waylo. Yeah, okay. What does he do again? Three mana, two, two, flying ward, two. Three mana, blink something of yours. Oh man, if the Tinker's Tote makes it to me. See, that's why I should have taken the Tinker's Totes. Over one or more non-token merfolk you control become tapped, create a merfolk. How many merfolk do I have? Two? It's not worth it. They have Hexproof. That's pretty cool. I'm still going to take the Waylaying Pirates instead, but you know, that's pretty cool. I think I might actually take the Cartographer's Companion over the River Herald Scout. Because I have a couple things that care about artifacts. Take a quick Sand Whirlpool. Put one of those cards back on top. Yeah. I mean, Ancestral Reminiscence is card advantage.
Yeah, so like Staunch Crewmate cares about artifacts, Waylane Pirates cares about artifacts. Um I guess that's it, but still. I really should have grabbed one of those Tinker Totes though. Tinker's tote with a Buelo seems kinda busted. What did it say? Ah, I don't have time to read it. I mean Starving Revenant is a pretty good card. I'm not splashing black for it, though. I Like, Abuelo versus Starving Revenant, probably the Revenant's better. Card's kind of nuts. Uh, come, friends, let us see if this world remembers us. Ooh, there's an Oaken Siren, too. That might be better, because it has flying... I'll take the crewmate. Dusk Rose is not bad. Another Oaken Siren's not bad. Sacrifice an artifact or creature and then exile an artifact or creature. Yeah. I don't know Buelo with Runaway Boulder. I'm probably not supposed to take that. I'm just as likely to run the boulder as I am to run a second Cosmium Blast, though. Ooh, Tinker's Tote. Nice. Nice. The Staunch Crewmate also works well with Abuelo. It's like three mana, blink, look at your top four, get an Artifact or Pirate. I think I only have three Pirates, right? Yeah. Uh, Uppenbach. But also, another Tinker's Tote. I think Tinker's Tote is great. Alright, so I'm at full build. This is a good curve, I think. If, especially if we look at the Whirlpool as a 3-drop. I'm just gonna be mean to whoever's picking other colors. Well, that I'm gonna. Ooh, there's an adaptive gym guard. I'm gonna take this just to save myself a wild card, I think. I do like gym guard a lot, though. I don't know what I would cut for it. I could cut a wrestler for it. I'm gonna take the ancient one, save myself a wild card. I don't have a lot of big creatures, but I do have a couple removal spells. Like, he bounces, he taps. Kutso's flanker, huh? I'll cut a wrestler for that. I might cut the Ancestral Reminiscence. Take the Cataract. I don't think this card's that good. Like, it can be, I guess. I'll take the Sage of Days. This is, this is the most boring-looking deck. Like, I'm just the, the blue-white deck, you know? Um... I think I probably won't run either of those, right? Jeez. Oh, even by Piranhas is kind of a uh, removal as well. It's kind of weird that eaten by Piranhas isn't just like a kill spell. It turns it into a 1-1 one -one skeleton. Like, it doesn't actually kill it. It just turns it into a skeleton. Even though it's been eaten... It's still alive. Um, how much more blue than white am I? Very, very even, actually. So we'll keep it like that, and uh, 
Wait, one card over. So now it's actually totally even mana base. One double white, one double blue. So should be good. Should be good. Sneaky feline, sure. I think I can keep this. Let him know I have a wrestler. Uh, I'm just gonna throw him down. Let's play the crewmate. And let us take... Hmm. I take the cartographer's companion. Let's just play the toe. No attacks. Okay. Uh, I don't expect a trick. gonna leave that on top I'll probably reliquary that away save the uh, eaten by piranhas Tuh. or I'll just play a boilo I guess I guess I'll take five just rough, but like blinking a Tinker's Toad every turn is this good enough, right? And no blocks. What does he have? Okay, Botley's final strike, and he has the ward. Okay, that's fine. Um. Dusk Rose. Play the Neon Nautilus. Bruh. still do it. I'll still pull the trigger on that, I think. Oh, let's just pump. What the actual fuck? I play my removal, he just plays another bomb. Play the staunch crewmate, I guess. Let's see if I can get something useful. Nope, nothing. Great. Uh. I ought 
to swing with the Nautilus, right? Three sacrifice another artifact, create another rune. Do I want a pump? I mean, I know it's in his hand. He can only buff this twice. It's one, two, three, four. Oh wait, yeah, so, yeah. Mathematics. Okay, Axe Jaw is good. The Axe Jaw is good. Yeah, I'd keep an uh, Earthshaker Dreadmaw on top. Yeah, he's not gonna swing with the Thunder Hulk. Tide binder's kind of nice. Um, let's play this. Maybe scry into something good. Cosmium Blast is all right. Actually. Earthshaker Dreadmaw. We'll draw him one card, kind of whatever. Wait, really? Okay, I'm mad. My opponent making bad plays is getting in my way. Play the companion. Eat the map on, uh, mm, I guess the Nautilus. No, guess that won't really make a difference. Hopefully I draw land anyway. I mean, I did just waste, like, two turns. I thought that cost three mana. It is two. I looked at it and saw three. Yup. Two, three, four, five, six. So if I block all, he just sacrifices one another one. Yeah, okay, you got me. All those bombs. I can't I can't deal with that. Threefold Thunder Hulk is kind of an insane card. I remember one of the pre-releases I played, I got one of those, and it was nuts. Vampires with feathers or without feathers? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Personally, I like the dinosaurs without feathers more than dinosaurs with feathers. I prefer to think they didn't have feathers. Um, let's play the scout. And draw land. Okay.
Vuelo. Abuelo. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Um. I mean, I will trade Abuelo for Abuelo if he wants to. We can do that. No? Okay. Cloud Garden. Does he have a kill spell for my Abuelo? Nope. did put a land on top. Let me think. Let that trade, let that die. It's actually fine. Because I just hit him for five. I'll play the Nautilus and pass. I need full control for this, but uh, yeah. I mean, I can swing with, I can just swing out, honestly. Like, if he blocks the Tashanas and they trade, I'm kind of fine with that. Yeah, it's fine. Take the Wayland Pirates and pass. Sure. Oh, that turns on council. I didn't even think about that. Council is turned on. Imagine you're in court and someone says that. You're like, hey, wait a minute. You can't say that. All right, um. Yeah, I mean, sure, he already knows about this. That's the other reason that was a better play than playing the Council of Echoes. Not even something I was conscious of in the moment.
And now we wait. keep this. Alright. Oh, it's Capybara. I think I still swing. Do I even bother putting a Cosmium Blast on that? Or do I just let him trade? Yeah, let's just tr make it a trade. Oh, he has removal. Yeah, no blocks. Oh, let's go with this. Let's make that not untap. If I draw an island, I might crack the cataract, actually. I really don't want this thing to get to a 5-5, five five, though. So I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have let him swing. Ah, uh, yeah. See? That's actually kind of good. Let's just whirlpool that. Blowing his stuff up. There we go. All right. Board's clear. Okay, that makes sense. Another, another chance. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, I exiled the other thing. Nice. Crewmate should pretty much always hit with this deck. That is a 4-3 Rootwalla. That is a 1-1 Dark Frog. Um, let's scry. Hello. Like, I'm going to swing with my 3-3, three, three, right? If I swing with the 3-3 three, three and he trades, then I can play this and bounce the frog. Or even just play that. Let's start with attacking, then. He's going to trade the frog for that, sure. Well, now he has no way to deal with flying, so I'll play the Sandwing instead. Radagash.
All right, got lethal in the air next turn. That is a flyer. It doesn't draw it, though. Okay, he needed removal or a creature with flying in hand. Alright. Simax. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Now, mm, I'm going to start with the guide wing. I really hope I don't have to plane cycle this. Dart frog. That's rough. Um, play the Nautilus. That way, if he makes the trade, I still get something, you know? Seems good. Tin collar, probably reveal a dinosaur. No. No dinosaur to reveal. Odd. Although that is big enough now to block the guide wing. Or Abuelo, even. Yeah, I'll play the crewmate. Get a Tinker's Toe, no attacks. No other dinosaurs. I'm surprised by that. It's effectively a 3 3. Alright, well. Sucks to be stuck on lands, but such is life. Um, play another crewmate. Get a wrestler. I'm fine with this. So he has a buff spell or a kill spell or something. Yeah. Okay, well that was a blowout. Um And he knows about the cogwork wrestler. Like I need him to whiff for like two or three turns in a row. Only with dinosaurs, right? Yeah.
He's got seven mana. There are very few. He's got eight mana. There are, like, no cards in this format he cannot currently cast. So, the limit is what he has. kind of annoying um all right i think i'm supposed to target the dark frog and block like that and take six way low I can whirlpool one of them I kind of want to save that though let's play my scry first river herald scout is not great land is okay actually the beginning of the next end step okay I'm actually okay with these two in this order play that and hopefully not sacrifice the tote it's the idea i have the option available if i have to Element Battle Glyph. Okay. That sucks. Throw it all. Yeah, that's fine. Abuelo was the only one who could do something with this, so I think I cracked the tote now. Sure. It's only a 3-4. kind of not a big deal. I could also flip this and be able to triple block that. It's actually probably better. Um... Brutal! That is some card draw. All right. Ever flowing well.
and he doesn't have any tricks, so. Let me throw in dinosaur. It is a dinosaur, isn't it? Let's transform that. Become a copy of that spell until end of turn. It's only permanent spells, right? So I have Cosmium Blast and Eaten by Piranhas. I'm not sure how this works with Eaten with Piranhas. I mean, frick. All right, well. Uh, I don't want to just, like, lose a land for no reason, but sure. It just kills it. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Because I wasn't sure, but yeah, it just kills my land. That sucks, actually. I mean, I guess I just kill that, right? I don't want the, uh, I don't want anything to become a Tinker's Tote, though. I don't want anything to become a Waylaying Pirates, either. Can I submit zero? I can. It's the one that's in my way, really. Brutal. Yep, I know. Doesn't matter which one I block. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I need them to whiff for at least like one turn, but it just hasn't happened yet. Activate only as a sorcery. Good. Sheesh. I say, guy, can you just literally whip for like one turn? So I'll eat the tote to gain three. Definitely want to kill that. And I have to survive, so I have to give up these two. Yeah, I think that's right. Back down to one. I'd have to get rid of this, but I'd be able to exile something. But I don't think that helps, so I think I have to crack the cataract. Should have left this open, I guess, technically. Tishana's Tidebinder. It has no targets. 
Can exile is three four. Oh, that's an artifact. Yeah, okay, get rid of that then. Yeah, I really needed him to whiff and draw, like, something not useful. Like that, but, you know, yeah, he has the buried treasure. So even when he whiffs, he doesn't whiff. Not sure why he didn't do that last turn. Another Burning Sun Cavalry, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll trade it with the Tide Binder. But if you're going to swing with that, you should swing with both. Let's be real. That's rough. Um, I can't attack and any creature with haste or any removal spell kills me. Like that, for example. This is this is what happens. I kind of like moderately talked shit about green red as a deck earlier, and now this is what's happening. I'll keep this. Uh, yeah. Subterranean schooner. No blocks. Okay, um... I should play the Cloud Garden for now. I think that might be right. Yeah, let's swing with these. Bruh, alright. Oh, he hits a breaches. It's ridiculous. Breaches is ridiculous. So I should have held these back. Yeah, okay. I think I need to put a stop to that. So I definitely need to Dusk Rose that away. Um, I'm 
get rid of breaches. And play a promising vein, and then um, pass. Yep, that makes sense. Bruh, alright. Yeah, okay. I'll take the L. There's nothing that can save me from that much power coming up. Subterranean schooner seems really good. Alright, them's the brakes.